Yes, what happened to you? Can you hear my voice? I hear your voice. Oh, yeah. After two and a half years yes. and 11 months, you prayed for me. And seven weeks, I have my voice back, and I am cancer-free. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to pay attention to what she said. Cancer-free is great. This girl has been in every meeting. You've seen her. And she gets up in the front of the service. She's in that long line, and you know what? And sometimes I pray for her over here, and she pops up over there. And I pray for her over there, and I'm so tired, I'm thinking I'm almost done. And I go back, and she's back over here. <laughs> Say, get in the line of fire. Yes. Yes. Say it, get in the line of fire. Get in the line of fire. <laughs> That's what she did. You could hardly hear her talk. Yes. I received my healing. You received your healing. but not physically. Uh -huh. I still have no voice. Okay. I believe. Awesome. That's beautiful. And I have faith. I know you do. And I believe. And I know you do. Why I cannot receive physically. You have, and you will. You will. Just don't lose hope. Don't get discouraged. I have hope. I don't even I believe know. I have cancer. Okay, there you go. You're and in good I shape. I never believed. You're in good shape. It's going to happen. By the Holy Ghost, it's going to happen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, that's amazing story. Listen to me. The yoke will break. Amen. Whether it's one hit, two hits, three hits, you have to know that the anointing is greater than the yoke. The lie we believe is, well, I did that. Well, I did that. How many times did Moses have to go to Pharaoh? How many trips did it take? Someone says, yeah, why did it take, why did it take it? Why come it took if God's so great? Hey, God could afflict him like a fly right from the very beginning. But God's trying to destroy the enemy and at the same time raise up a mighty army. Amen. And that means he wants to raise us up in the process of what? That perseverance pays off. Amen. That we can't quit too soon. Whether you're blind or deaf or can't walk, whether you're on dialysis, missing a limb, missing an organ. She had cancer of the throat. I love this story. What's that? You were stage four. Stage four. He said, I never will speak because my voice box is completely destroyed. And after 35 treatments of radiations, it was damaged, everything inside. So it's a miracle. My doctor was Thank laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> you heard it. See, when these testimonies are here, they're to scatter across the audience for you to hear. Then once you hear, then you have to decide once you hear, is she lying? Is she exaggerating? Is she embellishing? If she's telling the truth, my God. See, that's, that's what testimonies are for. They're to stretch and push you into another zone. Let the word of God come alive in you. And when you hear a girl like this, Say stage four. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for her. Amen. I know how many times I prayed for her. <laughs> she was starting to worry me a little bit. <laughs> she got a healing. Come on, somebody. <laughs> There is no stage five. Stage four, pick out your tombstone. She said, stage four, I'm picking out my destiny. 